If you like Kat Dennings, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. So because you like my boobs, would you stand there and let me go like this? For five minutes just in the hope that we might hook up. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The House Bunny, 2008. So this is how we're going to get pledges? Hiring an archaically superficial reflection of the male fantasy? The House Bunny is a comedy film directed by Fred Wolf and stars Anna Faris, Colin Hanks, Emma Stone, and Kat Dennings. Taken away a life full of comfort and stardom, Shelley must find herself a new home after the Playboy Mansion doesn't want her anymore. Now winding up at Zeta Alpha Sorority, she is forced to accept that life is different now. To fight for her future, she must teach her new gained friends how to draw attention to themselves and raise money. This here is Harmony. Harmony. And Carrie Mae. Carrie Mae. And then, uh, and then Joanne over there. Joanne. Wow, you hired the exorcist, that's great. Number nine. Raise Your Voice, 2004. Will you shut up in here? Raise Your Voice is a teen musical drama film directed by Sean McNamara and stars Hilary Duff, Rita Wilson, Jason Ritter, and Kat Dennings. As a classic coming-of-age school story, Raise Your Voice begins with a darker tone, finding main protagonist Harry grieving the loss of her brother. Now dreaming about leaving the small town and coming out in LA, she is confronted with the thick-headedness of her father. Holding her new passion a secret, she tries to attempt a talent competition at school without him knowing. You are the loudest, noisiest, rudest jerk on the planet! <sighs> Number 8. Daydream Nation, 2010. You're kidding. I will get better as our relationship progresses. What? Daydream Nation is a drama film written and directed by Michael Goldbach and stars Kat Dennings, Reese Thompson, and Josh Lucas. Exploring youth from a diverse and controversial point of view, Daydream Nation follows a rebellious teen who finds herself forced to move to a boring backwater town. To embrace life and rescue her teenage years from boredom, she begins intense affairs with a teacher and a stoner classmate. Everything plays out fine, till someone eventually finds out. The highlight of their pathetic lives is going to be their yearbook photo. That's not true. They'll spend the first half of their lives planning their weddings, and they'll spend the second half regretting them. No, they'll have kids and be surprisingly happy. Everybody just cheats on each other. No, I would never, ever cheat on you. Number 7. To Write Love on Her Arms, 2012. I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. And don't get angry, it's kind of crazy. I love crazy. I'm insane. <laughs> to Write Love on Her Arms is a biographical drama film written and directed by Nathan Frankowski and stars Kat Dennings, Chad Michael Murray, Rupert Friend, and Corbin Blue. Filled with powerful performances and blending entertainment with serious themes, To Write Love on Her Arms follows young and lost Renee, who is currently recovering from drug addiction. With nowhere really to go in life, she is surprised when her fight against her former self starts a global movement, inspiring people around the globe. You wanna write my story? Yeah, I do. It's powerful, and because nobody says, nobody talks about all the things that happen to you, you know? And I just, I, I think it'll help somebody. Number six, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, 2008. I came here with someone, actually. Really? Yep. Who? My boyfriend. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Peter Sollett and stars Michael Cera and Kat Dennings. This sweet take on breakup struggle finds a hopeless nerd being obsessed with his ex-girlfriend, who is now dating a new and better guy. But after his ex's friend shows interest in him at a club, the two start to roam through the night and talk about life. As they constantly run into his ex-girlfriend, they are forced to figure out if and what they want from each other. Uh, you know what? That's okay. Thanks anyway. Oh, well, you know, Gary's in college. 
you could totally have better luck with college guys. You know, that's when guys really get into stuff like how smart a girl is, you know? It's not all about luck. Yeah, Gary seems real deep. Number five. Defendor, 2009. Angel. Oh my God, you scared the shit out of me. What are you doing? What? Defendor is a vigilante comedy drama film written and directed by Peter Stebbings and stars Woody Harrelson, Elias Codius, Sandra Oh, and Kat Dennings. Brought to life by the extraordinary charm of its leading cast, Defendor is a smart parody on the superhero genre, reminding fans of hits like Kick Ass. As an ordinary guy attempting to be a psychiatrist, Arthur Poppington wants to escape the routine, but when starting to believe that he is an actual superhero, things get kind of weird. Some geek offered me four bucks for it, apparently. Strontium-90 in the Hellbound Gang sucks balls. Shouldn't take other people's stuff. Oh, really? Thanks for the tip. Should I suck your cock now? Number four. Thor, The Dark World, 2013. It's malfunctioning. That's what I said. That's what I did. I thought you do something a little more scientific. Thor, The Dark World is a superhero film directed by Alan Taylor and stars Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman, Tom Hiddleston, Anthony Hopkins, Idris Elba, and Kat Dennings. As the sequel to the Thor franchise, The Dark World goes way deeper into the brother dynamic between its main characters and forms the bond that would become fan favorite in the later works of the Marvel Studios. Once more mixing comedic charm with haunting elements of fantasy, it is not only a good time, but an important puzzle piece for the Marvel Wars to come. Doesn't look like nothing. Kind of looks like the readings that Eric was rambling about. Our friend Eric kind of want banana balls. He's not um, interested. I'm interested. I'm not interested. It's time for you to go now. Okay. Number three. The 40-Year-Old Virgin, 2005. Instead of having intercourse, you could have... Outer course. Outer course? Uh, what's that? Yeah, what is that? The 40-Year-Old Virgin is a sex comedy film directed by Judd Apatow and stars Steve Carell, Katherine Keener, Paul Rudd, Romani Malko, Seth Rogen, and Elizabeth Banks. Following the simple premise that its brilliant title already promises, The 40-Year-Old Virgin follows Andy, an amiable single guy working at a big box store. Unlucky with love and women in general, his friends push him into losing his virginity but when he meets local shop owner Trish, he might get a chance to form a serious relationship with her. Body rubbing or dry humping? You could dry hump. Uh, there's masturbation. Masturbation, play with yourself. Mutual masturbation. Play with a friend. Deep kissing, um, there's erotic massage. Oh, that sounds like it would be nice. Number two. Charlie Bartlett, 2007. Susan, this is my mother, Marilyn. Such a pleasure to meet you, Susan. Oh, yeah, you too, Marilyn. Charlie Bartlett is a comedy drama film directed by John Pohl and stars Anton Yelchin, Hope Davis, Kat Dennings, and Robert Downey Jr. Led by powerhouse performances and an irresistibly charming premise, this coming-of-age comedy was also the inspiring influence for surprise series like Sex Education. Charlie Bartlett, a nerdy loner, has trouble fitting in at a new high school but when appointing himself as a student psychiatrist, he quickly becomes the famous kid. But what's the price for lying about your abilities? Yankee Doodle. So basically, he ran out to stop the truck and it just drove right over him and killed him instantly. Are you fucking with me? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You weren't studying and you weren't on that bed. I totally was. No. You were sitting at the computer, and your history book is over here by that nasty egg salad sandwich, which explains the smell. Raymond, hmm? I'm gonna have to ask you to stop staring at my tits. You're the only guy to come through town in a long time that I consider sleeping with, and you're ruining it. I was actually admiring the tips of your hair, but I will not do that anymore. I'll look you right in the eyes. Who are you guys? You can't tell? Can't tell. Can't tell. We're your fairy gay mothers. Gay mothers. Gay mothers. Fairy gay mothers? Gay mothers? Gay mothers? Yeah, all the newbies get one. Oh, <laughs> thanks, but I'm not a newbie. I've slept with over two women. Number one. Thor, 2011. You know, for a crazy homeless person, he's pretty cut. 
Thor is a 2011 superhero film directed by Kenneth Branagh. The cast of characters includes Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman, Tom Hiddleston, Idris Elba, Kat Dennings, and Anthony Hopkins. As the final day arrived, Thor retaliates when the gods' enemies, the Frost Giants, enter the castle in violation of their agreement. Odin banishes Thor to Earth. At the same time, Loki, Thor's brother, plans his own misdeeds in Asgard. Thor, now severed from his powers, confronts his greatest intimidation. How could you eat an entire box of Pop-Tarts and still be this hungry? This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.